with the headlines. China has announced that it is removing its defense minister, General Li Xiangfu, from position. Xiangfu has been out of public view for almost two months. Israel's president Isaac Herzog, while interacting with French President Macron, said that Israel is a strong nation and is committed to overcoming and destroying enemies. BJP Uttar Pradesh State President Bhubendra Chaudhary on Tuesday targeted India Alliance and said that it was an electoral and mismatch alliance. Former U.S. President Donald Trump pledged that if the Republican Party were to regain the presidency, they would work to prevent a potential World War III, particularly in the context of escalating tensions in the Middle East. Now for the news in detail. China has announced that it is removing its defense minister, General Li Xiangfu, from position. He has also been removed as state councillor. The standing committee of the National People's Congress, the country's top lawmakers, also voted to remove former foreign minister Quinn Gang from his position as state councillor. Reports Reuters citing state broadcaster CCTV Xiangfu has been out of public view for almost two months. Li is the second senior Chinese official to disappear this year, following former Foreign Minister Quinn Gang, who was removed from office in July with no explanation offered. Li, who became Defense Minister during a cabinet reshuffle in March, hasn't been seen since giving a speech on August 29. There is no indication that the disappearances of Quinn and Li signal a change in China's foreign or defense policies, although they have raised questions about the resilience of President and ruling Communist Party leader Xi Jinping's circle of power. French President Emmanuel Macron on October 24 landed in Tel Aviv amid war between Israel and Hamas. Macron on his visit met with Israel's President Isaac Herzog. During a press, joint press conference, Israel's President Isaac Herzog said that Israel is a strong nation and is committed to overcoming and destroying enemies. He further said that Israel is demanding full and immediate release of all Israel citizens who are abducted and hijacked. He further added the care that France has for Israel and express gratitude over the visit of French president to show solidarity. With major pain that we've never suffered as a nation since our establishment and we've suffered a lot of pain throughout our history. I see families day in day out who are bereaving, praying, crying, emotionally suffering so much and the entire nation is suffering with them but we are a strong nation and we are committed to overcome and we are committed to uh, destroying our enemies the situation though is extremely complicated and fragile on the one hand we are demanding the full and immediate release of all of our citizens who are abducted and hijacked and the, the immediate release as we are seeing clear crimes against humanity we are seeing the suffering of young and old 30 children Mr. President 30 children are out there kidnapped by Hamas terrorists who carry out, carried out one of the worst atrocities in modern times and I know I've heard your expressions, we've spoken quite often in the last uh, two weeks. I know how much you care for our nation and your visit here is a clear expression of solidarity. I know you met families of, the, of, a, uh, of hijacked and kidnapped people. Uh, and I know that you share with me the same feeling that there's no difference, none at all. And I said it to the families themselves between an Israeli citizen or anyone who holds another citizenship parallel to Israeli citizens in citizenship at the end all Israelis are one soldier, citizen and uh, 
and foreign national. They are all one and for us we want them back immediately. Bio Uttar Pradesh State President Bhupendra Chaudhary on Tuesday targeted INDIA alliance and said that it was an electoral and mismatch alliance. He said public are aware of everything and that everyone is with PM Modi and Aaj party ke karyakram aur abhiyano ko leke baithak thi. Hamroa jile ki sabhi karyakarta upasthit the aur hamari party ke jo aage karyakram hai un karyakramo ko leke baatchit hui hai. और हम सब लोगों ने पूरी तैयारी के साथ 2024 के लोकसभा चुनाव में हम जाएंगे और हम सबको अपेक्षा है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी पिछली बार हम लोग 64 सीटें जीते थे 16 सीटें नहीं जीते थे इस बार हमने पूरी तैयारी की है हमारी जीती हुई सीटें भी और जो पिछली बार जी सीट नहीं जीत पाए थे उन सीटों को भी हमने पूरी तैयारी कर ली है मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में सभी सीटों के जीतने के संकल्प के साथ हम लोग जनता में जाएंगे नहीं ये राजनीतिक गठबंधन है चुनावी गठबंधन है बेमेल गठबंधन है और अपने हितों के लिए गठबंधन है और प्रदेश देश की जनता सब जानती है भाजपा का गठबंधन जनता से है जनता का गठबंधन मोदी जी और योगी जी से है ये कुछ भी कर ले जनता हमारे साथ नहीं आपने देख ये केंद्रीय पार्टी को निर्णय लेना अब किस परिप्रेक्ष्य में वो कह रहे हैं लेकिन वो कानून की अभिरक्षा में है कानून की हिरासत में है और सरकार उन्हें पूरी सुरक्षा दे रही है लेकिन वो जो उन्होंने कारनामे किए हैं और उसके आधार पर उन्होंने उन्हें माने न्यायालय ने दोषी ठहराया है तो निश्चित रूप से सरकार का जिम्मेवारी है सरकार का कर्तव्य है कि जो माने न्यायालय का आदेश है उसे अक्षर से पालन करें during a public address in New Hampshire on October 24, former U.S. President Donald Trump pledged that if the Republican Party were to regain the presidency, they would work to prevent a potential World War III, particularly in the context of escalating tensions in the Middle East, including the conflict between Israel and Hamas. Trump pointed the blame at Iran for supporting Hamas, and he criticized the current President Joe Biden for his perceived failure in preventing the outbreak of this conflict. To every American who is terrified that Crooked Joe's weakness will cause catastrophic global conflict. Because it was Joe Biden with his weakness and what he did with Iran and others that caused the attack on Israel. That's very simple. They would have never attacked. They would have never attacked Israel. Never. Russia would have never attacked Ukraine. You wouldn't have inflation. You wouldn't have any inflation right now. It was energy that went up like skyrocketed. He stopped it. Just no more. Let's have everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Unlike Joe Biden, I will stand with our friend and ally, the state of Israel, 100 percent. We'll stand with him 100 percent. And unlike Crooked Joe, I will fully support Israel's mission of ensuring that the terrorist group Hamas is defeated, dismantled, and permanently destroyed. They have to destroy them. And they have to be careful in their type of attack. Going in is uh, a lot of risks to that with the mines that are put all over the place in the tunnels, probably. You know, bad things can happen. There's other ways of doing it also, but they know what they're doing, and they have to do it right. But they have to be tough, and they have to win. They have no choice. They have to win. We have to bring our country back. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. The, would you believe what, what's happened to the USA in the last three years? But I will immediately reinstate all sanctions on the murderous Iranian regime. You have to do that till we have a deal. If you will not enforce sanctions against Iran, then you do not stand with Israel. It's that simple. It's all about Iran. And now, once again, Iran probably has close to $100 billion to finance terror. And Israel's paying a big price. They're paying a very big price. Iran is a very rich country right now. When I left, they were broke. They were broke. And they would have made a deal very quickly. But now they're very rich, and I think it's very hard to make a deal. The minute I'm back in the White House, not only will I impose the most crippling sanctions in history, we will also unleash the most powerful economic weapon. We will drill, baby, drill. Drill, baby, 
Yeah. Thank you, New Hampshire. God bless you all. It's been a great honor to be with you. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll be right back after a short break, so stay tuned. It only takes one prick of a needle to save lives. Get tested for HIV. Welcome back. Chief Minister of Manipur and Biran Singh in a function at Andro said the Manipur issue has now been handed to the central government and the bucks stop that with the central government. Showing what he called a report by NIA, the Chief Minister said the present crisis in Manipur is not between Kuki and Mete, nor it is between majority and minority or between Christians and Hindus, but it is perpetuated by foreign hands. He called the crisis as waging war against the Indian Union by foreign hands in collusion with militant organizations based in the state. The chief minister also said the arrest of the Chin Kuki Liberation Army personnel along with arms has already started on Monday. He said 34 different tribes in the state were harmoniously living together before this foreign conspiracy of waging war against India was started. Giving a, an example of Moirang Ethnic Park, he said houses belonging to 34 Different tribes were constructed inside the park and it is the testimony of believing in a harmonious relationship between different tribes in the state. He said that the ownership of the state belongs to all different tribes living in the state. National Investigative Agency. China was it? Manipur to be with Hogokse, Masi, Naga, Koki, Mente, Ginate, Christian, Hindu, Ginate, Majority, Minority, Ginate, Masi, Mapan, the Gay, Myanmar, Amadi, Bangladesh, the Gay Lakwa Terror Group, Adu Manipur, Hanadi Labour, Terror Group, Pulakanda, Wales War Against the Indian Union. Barasakati Canada, Quiggy, Moranda, Quinas Hariba, Gadogi, Quiggy, it would pack the name of Yumkun Samari to Sagro. The Mapur San Gidona Kung celebrated its 25th anniversary, 1998 to 2023, at Agri Expo Chumukedima on October 24, 2023, under the team Gadi Scoot in All Generations, Psalms 105. During the event, the speaker, Rev. W. Yilopemo Lota, Pastor LBC Sovima, conveyed that counting God's blessings and expressing gratitude would result in more blessings. He emphasized that in today's globalized world, consumed by mobile and internet usage, people often neglect to praise God. He stressed that answers and God's love are found in the Bible, not the internet.
我做农作物的没有多，我做农作物的事情也存钱多，我做农作物的钱也得拿，也挣点钱，也挣钱。万能的土国家也挣钱的，可老穷的万能国家也得能挣钱。我做农作物的，万能的国家哈，一旦就了
Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has said the Indian security forces have kept the borders secure and that is why India's stage before the world is rising rapidly. All the developed countries accept the reality that in the past eight to nine years, India's stage has risen, he claimed. Had they not kept the country's border secure, this stage would not have been possible, he added. ने सीमाओं को सुरक्षित बना रखा है इसी कारण भारत की अंतर्राष्ट्रीय जगत में प्रतिष्ठा बड़ी तेजी के साथ बढ़ रही है दुनिया की सारी डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज इस सच्चाई को स्वीकार करती हैं विगत आठ नौ दस वर्षों में भारत का स्टेचर भारत का कद यह अंतर्राष्ट्रीय जगत में बढ़ा है और मैं स्पष्ट रूप से कहना चाहता हूं हमारे प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में भारत का कद यदि अंतर्राष्ट्रीय जगत में बढ़ा है तो जो देश में आर्थिक विकास हुआ है उसका महत्व तो है ही लेकिन आपने यदि देश की सीमाओं को सुरक्षित न रखा होता आपका योगदान न होता तो मैं विश्वास के साथ कह सकता हूं कि भारत का स्टेचर जो आज बना है सारी दुनिया वालों की नजर में यह स्टेचर यह कद न बन पाया न बन पाता लोग मानने लगे हैं कि अब आर्थिक दृष्टि से भारत सशक्त हो रहा है और साथ ही साथ सैन्य शक्ति के मामले में भी भारत की ताकत बढ़ी है Rajnath Singh also acknowledged the tough situation in which they are shouldering the responsibility of guarding the country's borders the country is proud of them he said jin kathin paristhitiyon mein aap sab kyunki main LAC ke paas tak jaakar maine dekha hai जिन कठिन परिस्थितियों में आप लोग इस देश की सीमाओं की सुरक्षा की जिम्मेदारी निभा रहे हैं उसकी जितनी भी सराहना की जाए वह कम है और मैं बतलाना चाहता हूं देशवासियों के को आपके ऊपर नाज है देशवासियों को आपके ऊपर गर्व है और आप सभी जानते हैं इस वर्दी की कितनी अहमियत होती है मैं समझता हूं अधिकांश ऐसे जवान होंगे बिरले ही जवान बचे होंगे जिनकी इच्छा न होती हो नहीं तो शायद अधिकांश नौजवानों की अथवा बचपन की इच्छा रहती है कि कभी न कभी मुझे जिंदगी में कोई एक अवसर ऐसा अवसर मिले ताकि मैं सेना की वर्दी पहन सकूं ऑफ नाउ की वॉचिंग हॉर्नबेल थी important issue that often gets overlooked it refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of